Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to a, another episode. This is episode one of a series I'm hoping to start up called Akira Rants, where uh, I just rant about random things and uh, get your guys' opinion on it. Uh, like subscribers, some uh, I don't know. It, it, it would make me happy. Anyways, on to the first topic, Farhaven. Farhaven, at the very start, like they're in Farhaven 1 and 2, was an amazing concept. So good that I, I'd say it's one of the best Minecraft SMTs I've played on ever, and it's one of the greatest Minecraft experiences I've had ever. Now, that being said, Farhaven's newest edition, Soulful, it's supposed to be some sort of spin-off, some sort of brand new take, but in my opinion, the brand new take is worse than what Farhaven used to be. Let me explain. How do I even begin? Oh, I know. Updates. Let's talk about updates. How uh, updates ha used to be something to look forward to, where now you're even lucky if you get one. Want to know why? Because Eds doesn't feel like it. He doesn't feel like making, you know, just something to keep us players entertained for just one week longer while he works on a bigger thing. Like, he wants to make an event to open up the nether. Something I think should be available at the very start. Wanna know why they're making the nether an event? Because they don't know how to make one. They don't know how to make an event. So they just gotta take features of pre-existing things in the game and turn them into events. <sighs> now, I'm not no coder, nor do I know how to make stuff in Minecraft, but I've seen a bunch of the stuff he's able to make in like an hour, and it's ten times better than like what Soulful is, what Farhaven is entirely. Soulful is just Farhaven 6, he's just repeating the same concept he's been doing for four years, and hasn't changed a thing. It's still classes with abilities, maybe with a perk or an item. And you know, back in Part 5, there used to be different abilities that you had to unlock through the game, which made sense. And, not to mention, that all the abilities were good and well thought out. Not to mention, they even had their own icon. But now, they've gone back to using single abilities, which are pretty disappointing. And not to mention, don't even have a unique icon. Which sucks. Absolutely sucks. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I just wish it would go back to some unique. Something unique. And do you want to know something else that's funny? They, they know how to do it because there's this one class in Soulful right now, the mage, who's able to swap between powers. So now you're thinking, why not just, I don't know, do that. That's what I'm saying. Maybe if there's a way in the settings, not settings, in the book, to change like what type of ukulele the bard uses. Like maybe one could, there could be an ukulele for healing and buffing. There could be an ukulele for damaging and, I don't know, just debuffing. Could be one for just straight up anything. Anything else other than healing. There's support. I get it. But, like, just make a good class with multiple abilities. Just want classes with multiple abilities. That's all I want. Okay? Also, why can't they just have their unique sprites again? Like, Far in 5. There was this one where the Drudel could uh, make a flower called, like, Eden's Garden or something. I forget what it's called. Don't at me on that. <laughs> but... It had its own unique icon. <sighs> now, if we take a look at what the abilities look like now, as an item in the inventory, you get book. Or if it is a unique slash special item, you're even lucky if it looks good. The slingshot, in my opinion, looks awful. The, <laughs> the bard's ukulele. Looks awful. Doesn't even have the correct amount of strings. All the mobs and stuff, those are fine. Except the giant. The giant sucks. It's just a rescaled zombie. Couldn't even give it, like, 
torn clothes or something. Like, even more torn clothes. Because it's a giant, it probably gets caught in a lot of things. Like, just make it look unique other than a big zombie. Make it look better. Just make things look better. Not saying I could do any better. Not saying that. Actually, I probably could if I had the stuff. But since I don't have the stuff, I can't do anything to make it look better. Like, there's so many ideas I have for Soulful that can make it so much better. But Spanx has his own vision of mine, which I can understand. Wants to stick with the vision. But they're bad. It's stuff only he wants. Like, he doesn't think about the players. The stun thing, like with the blacksmith, is a 50-50 chance every, like, second. Maybe two seconds. I don't know. I don't play Blacksmith. But, here's the problem. The stun lasts for two seconds. The hammer hits like a diamond sword. And, there's actually no cooldown on how many times you can swing the hammer. There's only a cooldown on the stun chance. Meaning, at the very start, if you want to just kill someone after six hours, you can. You can. And do you want to know something else? I know the moment Spinks gets the chance, if there's something he doesn't like, he's going to just change it to whatever suits him better, whatever gives him the advantage. <sighs> Ed Spinks, if you, if you listen to this, I'm sorry, I, I have nothing against you guys. Just, I, I think Barhaven should just die, Soulful should just die. We all know it's not going to reach 20 plus players like Farhaven did. Farhaven 2 was some of the best times I've ever had. Don't get me wrong. I want to relive those. But I just cannot. Cannot. It's long gone. And I think it should stay gone. Kira 100. Signing off. Hope you have a good day or night. See you probably within the next few weeks. Bye. <laughs>